Hello, this is Jamie Magridge. Welcome to Jamie's Craft Table. Today I need to make a gift card holder or a money holder and so I'm going to bring you along for the ride. Um, I have a template. This is a sample one that I did quite a few years ago and there's a pocket here. It lifts up as you open the card. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start with um, some off-white cardstock or vanilla cardstock. This is four and a quarter by eleven inches. This piece is three and a half by seven inches. I have two pieces that are three and a half by two and three quarters, and then two pieces that are two and a half by three and a quarter. Nope, these are one and three quarters by two and a half. These pieces are two and a half by three and a quarter. Then I have two layers which are four inches by three and a quarter and four inches by one and three quarters. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start by um, doing the scoring. And I'm actually going to do it with you today, so. It's not difficult. I just want to make sure I'm doing it correctly. All right, so let's bring this 11 inch piece in. We're going to put it on the scoring board and we're going to score it at two and at seven and a half. So we'll score it at two on my simply scored and seven and one half. Okay, I'm going to bring in a bone folder. sure those edges line up and burnish those creases as well. So basically it's like a lopsided gate fold, but we're going to put it this way I think today. Okay, now let's bring in that other piece, which is three and a half by seven inches. We're going to score this at a half an inch. and five inches. Okay, now this one, we're gonna fold this piece back, the half an inch piece. It's gonna get folded back, and the other one's gonna get folded forwards. This isn't stamping up paper and it's cracking just a little bit. Okay, I'm also going to run my bone fold around the edge because I had a little bit of a lip from where my paper trimmer cut. Okay, we're done with the trimmer, so let's put that away. I mean, the simply scored. All right. First thing we're going to do is put a little bit of adhesive right here on these. So let's go ahead and do that. I don't need much, I just need a very little bit. You want to make sure it's really close to the edge because you want to have room for your gift card. So, let's see, let's, I don't know if you can see it. But I've just got very little bit of glue on there. I'm gonna close that down. I'll hold it for a minute. Let it do its thing. Bring this bone folder in again. Okay. Now on this flap, we need to put adhesive here, and it's gonna get glued on this smaller flap right here, like this. See that little flap? It's going to get glued right there. So you want to go up to that fold line, but not over it. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue on here. You want it to be centered in the front of the card. If it's not perfectly centered, that's fine. It works anyway, but... So kind of put it centered. 
rub it down. Okay, so that's the mechanism for the card. Okay, and this and this kind of line up. If they don't, that's fine. I've done one where it was sticking out quite far, but it just looks nicer if it's not. Okay, so now that that's glued in there, now we need to adhere this pocket down. So let's put glue on these two edges, just on the two edges. And again, less is more with the glue. Tear and tape would probably work good for this. I just don't have any right now. Okay, so you want to make sure this is laying down and you're going to bring this over and make sure those corners are stuck really well. Okay, we're going to leave the card closed for a minute. I'm going to bring in the two um, designer series paper. Now at this point you want to figure out which way you want it to open because you want your designer series paper if it has a direction to be cut in the direction you want your card to be. You can go this way, you can go this way, you can go this way, however you want to do it. It works just fine. So we're going to take the smaller one, the uh, four by one and three quarters. And that's going to get adhered here to this top small flap. There's about an eighth of an inch border all the way around it. And the four by three and a quarter one will go down here on the top of this pocket at the bottom. Again, there's that eighth of an inch border all the way around it. Okay. Now we're going to bring in these pieces <clears throat> and they're going to get centered here in the front of this card. So I need to remember only to put glue on the back of the top of this one. So it's maybe about an inch, maybe three quarters of an inch. Not a lot. So I'm just put a little bit of glue there on that top. Of the Center it back up in the front of this card. And adhere it down. Make sure it's straight. Kind of looks crooked. It's hard to tell. Okay, then I'm going to open it up all the way flat. And the other three and a half by two and three quarter inch piece is going to get mounted right on top of this. Now you might not have to do that, but since it's only glued here in this little spot, I thought it would be stronger if I added the second piece, since that's going to be <clears throat> what you're going to be pulling on to open the card. <clears throat> you can make it a little bit smaller if it's easier to line it up. But I just made it the same size. <clears throat> Glue that directly behind there. Okay. Now these other two pieces of designer series paper, which is the two and a half by three and a quarter inch. We're going to mount one here on this side and one on this side. And I've allowed that eighth of an inch margin border all the way around on all my pieces or on most of them. I think the next layer is more like a quarter or an inch. Okay. All right, now we're going to bring these pieces and we're going to put one on each side centered in the center of these little blue pieces.
You don't have to get as elaborate as this. I just wanted a nice one. Okay, so that's the basic card. And right in this area here will be a spot to put your money or your gift card. It'll sit right in that little pocket. As you close the card, it disappears, and when you open it, it pops up. Kind of makes it fun. Okay, so now I'm going to make a um, ornament to go on the front of this. And what I've done is, um, from the same designer series paper, just a different sheet, I've used the Gleaming Ornaments punch, and I've punched out three ornaments. I've scored them directly down the center, but you don't have to. I'm just going to fold them in half, all three of them. Okay, then I'm going to leave one folded and I'm going to put glue on the one side of it. I'm going to pick up another one, make sure it's the same direction. I'm going to go ahead and sit that directly on top and glue that together. Line it up, make sure those edges kind of match. That's the tricky part. Come on. It's not going to line up exactly, but we'll make it work. Okay, then we're going to fold this side over. Add some glue on there. Bring in our other one. Line it up, glue it together. Okay, now since you'll see I've got some raw edges, I didn't like that, I didn't get it lined up exactly. I'm going to bring out my Delicata ink pad and I'm going to ink all the edges. You can either just rub it directly in your ink pad or you can bring in the sponge dauber. Um, this designer series paper has copper embellishments on it or foiling so the copper would probably look nicer but I wasn't able to get the copper one. All I got was the gold and the silver so I'm using what I have. Just going to do it this way, it's faster. And basically, I'm just taking it and sticking it on the ink pad and rolling it. Okay, now it's still wet, but that's all right. We're just going to. <clears throat> Oops, there's a spot over here I missed. Now we're just going to open it up to the back side, put some glue on it, and adhere it to the front of our card. There we go. And you can embellish it, maybe add a bow, a couple gems maybe. But there we go, that's a, my gift card holder. I don't remember where I learned it from, it was from a couple years ago. Well thank you for joining me at Jamie's Craft Table. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I hope you have a little bit of time, even through this hectic holiday, to play with some paper, stamps, and ink.